At the Verizon Wireless Arena in Manchester on March 26, the UNH men's ice hockey team battled with number one seed Miami in the NCAA Northeast Regional semifinal. The Wildcats broke a 1-1 tie less than a minute into the third period when senior captain Mike Sislo guided in a cross-ice pass from teammate Blake Kessel to give the Cats the one goal advantage. Goaltender Matt DiGirolamo stopped 21 of 22 shots to contain the high-powered Red Hawk attack. And pacing the Wildcat offense was freshman Kevin Gumis, who scored two goals, including a half-ice snipe into the empty net in the final minutes that sealed a 3-1 New Hampshire victory. And that will do it. The New Hampshire Wildcats take down the top seed here in the Northeast, 3-1. On February 27th, the UNH women's swimming and diving team claimed first place at the ECAC Championships in Pittsburgh. The Wildcats broke five school records as well as five ECAC records on their way to earning their first ECAC title since 2005. Amy Perot contributed to six first place finishes and was named Women's Swimmer of the Meet to lead the Wildcat effort. UNH also earned coaching staff of the meet honors with the team recording 11 first place times. Third down for UNH. Toman checking out of the play. Jellison's not getting the ball. Good call, Andy. Lifts it up top, far side of the field. Wait for the signal. Touchdown! UNH! In front of a CAA record crowd of 32,848 in the inaugural Colonial Clash, the UNH football team competed in the first ever collegiate football game at Gillette Stadium, taking on arch-rival UMass. The Wildcats took advantage of three Massachusetts turnovers en route to the 39-13 win over the 12th ranked Minutemen. The Cats managed a 10-play, 99-yard drive midway through the third quarter to take a commanding 22-0 lead. Quarterback R.J. Toman hooked up with wideout Terrence Fox twice on the drive, including a 26-yard completion in traffic. Toman finished off the drive with his second rushing score of the game. Defensively, linebacker Matt Evans notched his first career interception and recorded a game-high 13 tackles while being named the game's most valuable player. Senior Colin O'Donnell became the only goalkeeper to ever record three shutouts in the America East Men's Soccer Tournament. He propelled the Wildcats to their first America East Championship appearance since 1994. O'Donnell concluded his collegiate career with a shutout streak that spanned more than 300 minutes and tied the UNH school record with 10 shutouts during the 2010 season, while ranking second in the nation in save percentage and goals against average. On February 5th, before a sold-out, white-out-the-wit crowd, the UNH men's ice hockey team completed a season sweep of the University of Maine, beating the Black Bears for the third time. With New Hampshire up 3-2 in the third period, Maine's Kyle Beatty recovered a block shot and stuck in his second goal of the game. 90 seconds later, New Hampshire's Mike Barizanok returned the favor with his own putback and scored to regain the lead for the Wildcats. Maine would strike one more time tying the score at four with six and a half minutes to play before senior forward Paul Thompson banked in the game winner. Plays it ahead for Thompson. He gains the line for the Wildcats. Thompson, goal line left. Thompson tries to bank it in. He scores! Thompson from behind the net puts it in off the back of Sermon and the Wildcats lead 5-4 to four with 15.3 seconds left. Forget a new chapter in the UNH main rivalry. The last minute has been like a whole book. How in the world Nyquist, when his weekend was supposed to be all about the great three-goal game, first goal today, missed another open net that would have given his team the lead with 40 seconds remaining, and the Wildcats come back the other way, and Paul Thompson pulls a Houdini out as he hits it off the back of the goaltender into the net. 